Can Mushroom Cock replace your mor your morning Joe? Coffee might dominate our mornings. It does mine, uh, but it's not the only way to kickstart your day or necessarily the best. Some people tired of jitters. Never. Overdependency, ups to stomachs, built up tolerance to caffeine, are now replacing the morning cup of Joe with mushroom coffee. It's still. <laughs> I've replaced my coffee with coffee. Uh, and they might be onto something. The best mushroom coffees could bring attractive benefits, including calm, all day energy, and a stronger immune system. I don't know how to feel about this. It's the best mushroom coffees are careful blends of different mushrooms. Uh, extracts and they sometimes include a splash of tea leaves or coffee beans sometimes so what it, these mushrooms aren't the kind you eat or the trippy psych psilocybin kind i can't say that word but rather medical mushrooms that have been used for thousands of years in some cases in natural health treatments best mushroom coffee also tastes like coffee not mushrooms so there's nothing to fear in terms of flavor hey you are right mr vis lion's mane you were super right <clears throat> Below are some of the most common mushroom coffee ingredients. Most reported health benefits are based on extensive anecdotal evidence as well as cell and animal testing. Lion's mane, named after its shaggy appearance, lion's mane has been used medicinally since ancient times. A number of studies strongly suggest that the fungus may strengthen our immune systems. I'm actually really interested in like medicinal cooking. I've taken zero steps into researching it, but it's something that I like want to start looking into a little bit more because it's super like Chinese like medicinal cooking is very interesting to me. Um, let's see. Reduce inflammation, even alleviate anxiety and depression. Animal research has also shown that lion's mane extract can kill cancer cells, help with diabetes, and may reduce the risk of heart disease. Chaga? Chaga? Chaga. That's gonna be chaga. <clears throat> yes, coffee is definitely just tea with bean instead of leaf. Coffee is just bean soup. It's just bean soup is all. Uh, chaga mushrooms, another fungus has been used by humans for centuries, may bring health benefits similar to lion's mane, including anti-inflammation and boost to the immune system. May bring. Okay. R fuck. This mushroom. <laughs> this one right here. Reishi? Reishi? Mainly found in Asia. Uh, these mushrooms can be tracked back to hundreds of years in Eastern uh, medicine. Preliminary studies have shown that these mushrooms could increase energy while lessening depression and anxiety symptoms. I mean, I feel like just this, based on this alone, I have to try this coffee. Um, <laughs> it's all soup. <laughs> bean soup. Yeah, look. I have a healthy bean soup in the morning for breakfast. Um, uh, let's see. Where were we? It also used to control blood sugar and improve overall immune health. Cordyceps? Although it's a gross parasitic fungus... Uh, does have some extremely promising potential health benefits, all backed by lab studies and animal research. It has been shown to boost exercise performance, uh, <clears throat> sex drive, mental energy, and heart health, all are reducing signs of age. Yo, I'm going to get younger? What kind of magic witch's brew is this coffee? Also, if you're wondering whether mushroom coffee is legal, the answer is yes. Mushroom coffee does not include uh, psychedelic mushrooms. You can order it online from anywhere in the country. Mushroom coffee, coffee benefits. We've found all the possible health benefits of common ingredients. Uh, what happens when you combine them? Zombie fungus. Uh, what is that? Lobster mushrooms kind of do the same thing. Lobster mushrooms, are it's just like a fungus that takes over other kinds of mushrooms. And they're like bright orange. They are delicious. They're illegal in some parts of the world though. Uh, because they're worried that they will take over strains of poisonous mushrooms. Uh, but you can eat them in the U.S. because they they have done testing and they find that they won't take over poisonous ones. Uh, I mean, who's to say that that hasn't ever happened? But uh, they are quite tasty. Uh, the best mushroom coffees appear to lend clean energy, improve immune health, reduce stress, and lessen inflammation. Plus, because you're consuming less caffeine by switching to mushroom coffee, you, you can expect better sleep and, again, even more energy during the day. Plus, if you want the benefits of the best mushroom coffees but don't want to give up that caffeine boost, you can have both. Most mushroom coffees come as powder, so you can add a scoop to your morning coffee and reap the health benefits of mushroom with your normal java. But weren't they saying that you wanted to swap this for this? Like regular coffee for this coffee to have like a, a cleaner start to your morning? Why? 
Why now? Why tell me to mix it? What the fuck is a ch <laughs> chappuccino? This is really good packaging. Live long, die pretty. That's all I want. I don't know if you guys can see this. It says live long, die pretty. And that's all I want in the world is to die pretty. Um, I don't care about this other first part. But dying pretty is like top of my list. <clears throat> Let's see. Renewed Chagachino. I have to, I'm going to have to order this out. What is dubbed a mushroom mocha? Renewed Chagachino tastes as good as a mocha, but delivers the health benefits of medicinal mushrooms. The drink ingredients are led by wild forged chaga mushrooms, bringing immune support and non-jittery energy. Sugar free, vegan, and keto friendly. The drink is a clean, zero calorie alternative to coffee. Chagashino also comes as a 10 packet box, and packets are ideal for use at the office or while traveling. Just mix one with your favorite coffee drink, tea, or smoothie, and you're in need of a shroom dose. <laughs> if it doesn't make me hallucinate, <laughs> you want people to quit cold turkey? But that's the thing, though, is this like it's suggested that it's mixed in with your coffee, right? Like, that's what it sounds like. None of these are saying just mix it in with a cup of warm water. So it's kind of just like, why did it start? I guess it was a posed question at the beginning is, can you replace coffee with this? Named one of Oprah's favorite things, this starter kit from Clever is a great introduction to mushroom coffee. It includes two different mushroom latte blends. They call uh, Clever calls them super latte, of course they do, as well as a frother and a scooper to get the right portions. Super lattes come in a few varieties, tailor-made for certain moods. There's a matcha super latte with reishi, lion's mane, and ashwagandha for chill focus. A mushroom-infused coffee super latte for crash and jitter-free energy, as well as sleepy time super latte. Adaptogens and sleepers to help you rest easy. All of these are very easy to make. Just add water, and they taste great too. Okay, this one. Okay, this one is the same. Just add water. <clears throat> Mud. Water mushroom coffee. Support your local sunrise. None, none of this patching has been as good as Dye Pretty. You may have seen ads for mud water on TikTok by now. I have, but don't swipe past too quickly. The California-based brand is making some of the best mushroom coffee around. Using a blend of Lime Mang, Chaga, Cordycep, and Rishi. Oh, they're using all of them. Uh, it brings a comprehensive dose of the best mushrooms for improving mood, energy, and overall immune health. But the brand also counts Malala Chai. Cinnamon, turmeric, and Himalayan salt in its ingredients, meaning it really tastes great too. There's a dash of natural caffeine, about a seventh of that in a cup of coffee. That's not enough caffeine for a little boost. Uh, it comes as powder that can be added to teas and coffees as well as the food. The brand has dozens of recipe ideas on its website, including mud, pancakes, salad smoothies, and teas. We might have to get some of these. We'll try them. We can try them on stream. How many of these are there? Mood improving. Mushroom coffee mix with lion's mane. Think. I want to think. Thinking hurts my head. Four Sigmatic has generated quite a bit of buzz with this energy boosting, mood improving mushroom coffee. Brands concoction, which includes lion's mane for focus and chaga for immune health, also tastes great. More like chocolate and not like blooded mushrooms. Okay. This package of four Sigmatic mushroom coffee includes tennis packs, which come in handy transporting to work. Okay. Sacred Seven. Uh, this one's got line mains, corseps, reishi, and chocolate. This one has all of them. It's a powder extract making great addition for routine. Uh, they are sourced from a natural supplier in Canada. Canada. They probably they won't ship to me. <clears throat> uh, let's see. Previously, Super U, real shroom coffee. Promises calm alert energy without the anxiety, jitters, or crash. If I am not shaking because of the high amount of caffeine in my coffee, I don't really want it. Uh, they have some organic Colombian Arabic coffee, or Ar Arabica, Arabica. I don't know how to say words, which delivers about half the caffeine for my half. I don't want half. Although I guess this means I can drink more cups at once, right? If it's only half the caffeine, I can have two. So, I mean, that's a one plus, I guess, but I'd be using it up way faster. Uh, let's see. This one is saying it's a coffee alternative. It includes ashwagandha, which many use as a supplement to reduce anxiety and improve brain function. Hey, there we go. Maybe I'll learn how to read. The formula also changes chaga and reishi to further improve mood and calm energy, and there's no caffeine. There's no caffeine? Skipping that one. 
Sun Alchemy is another mushroom coffee that's making people question the regular morning java. It brings Lion Mag for cognitive function as well as Rishi and Chaga for immune health. If I'm not in danger of a caffeine induced panic attack, it's not. Seriously. For real. If I don't have to leave the kitchen at work and go lay on the floor of our walk in cooler, I don't want it. <clears throat> it's not worth my time. There's not enough caffeine. Uh. <laughs> Where were we? <laughs> I drink too much caffeine. I might have a problem. I had one of my cooks told me the other day, he goes, you know, I thought I had like a serious caffeine addiction. And then I met you. And I think that maybe I'm all right. <laughs> and I was just like, God damn. You don't, you don't have to point it out. Uh, unlike the other options, Sun Alchemy's mushroom coffee includes 110 milligrams of caffeine. Now we're talking. 110 milligrams of caffeine per serving, which is about the same as a regular cup of coffee. Many customers actually like this because the mushrooms coming effect counteract the negative side effects. The negative side effects of caffeine? Excuse me? No, 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 no. And in other words, you can get coffee level energy with less jitters and anxiety. This is the only one that's like, I feel like it has the caffeine content I want. Socially acceptable chemical dependency, right? So saying essentially what I think they do is they gr they dry the mushrooms and they turn it into a powder. <clears throat> I mean that's I mean that's that's probably all it really is. And then there's probably spices and, and stuff in there as well. Um but that's that's my best guess is how it works. Um I think they mentioned it up here somewhere. Um but but all of these have been powders. I just I want this one just because the packaging was good. But yeah, see, I mean you can see right here, it's just a powder. I also don't really think it's coffee, although some of them did have some coffee to it. But yeah, like Bear said, it sounds more like a tea or just like a powder mix. Um I mean, maybe there's coffee flavoring added to it. I'm not. I'm not really 100 percent sure. Um, I mean, this one you're moving to it to putting it in coffee, so who knows? But yeah, I, I'm not sure why it's classified as. It's, some of these are classified as coffee. Um, ah, uh, you know, <clears throat> that's just so weird to me and a hard pass. Well, it's kind of funny because I had a friend say the other day. He was making uh, broth for pho, and he was rehydrating his um, oh shiitakes. I think I think they were shiitakes. Oh, you know what though? Mushroom based imitation chicken nuggies. Best thing, oh, man. Chicken nuggets sound good. I'm so hungry. I need to stop skipping breakfast. Breakfast because it's making me hungry at like the worst times. Um, I think it was. Was it? Was it shiitake? I'm not sure what mushroom. I, I think it was shiitake. He makes a really dope, like, vegan pho. And then he decided to put it into, uh, mix it with, like, espresso. And he did, like, uh, I think it was, like, allspice and clove and maybe some cinnamon. I, if I were, He kind of used, like, all, some of the pho, like, Vietnamese pho broth spices and mixed it in. He said it was really good. So, I mean, I'm willing to give it a try. I uh, Some of the flavors they noted, too, like, w was it the mud water one? had some uh like had like turmeric and stuff in it which is supposed to also be good like uh um uh, for like inflammation and stuff so i i'm kind of interested just to see 